How's it going? In this video, we're going to talk about creating urgency so that we can get the sale today. So just to kind of outline what we're going to go over this video is this is going to help you be able to close memberships today versus having them come back, do appointments, or doing a fitness pass with you. Um, we want to get these members enrolled as soon as possible. When you have a guest in front of you, um, it's definitely the best time to get them to join. And we don't want to sell them. We're going to solve the problem. And we're going to use three examples where we can talk about wording and questioning on how it can help you get that membership sale today. So the best way to create urgency is to know what their why and what is. And both those are important because you know, you're going to use them together to help get the sale. So when you know how to solve for their what, you're going to be a problem solver. And then when you know the why, you can tie that in to create that urgency. So we're going to look at a couple questions to help get those um, answers, their what and their why. So in this scenario, a guest comes in to check out pricing. So this is a guest that's walked into your, to your gym and they say, I just want to know how much it costs. Okay. So, you know, that question... Um, it's kind of just a, a question to kind of get you off of them. You know, they don't want to be sold anything. They just want to know the pricing and move on. But realistically, if that was the only thing that they were interested in in the pricing, is they could have just called or they could have looked you up on your website. Um, pretty much all that information is available anywhere. And if it's not, it should be. Um, you shouldn't be hiding your prices. It shouldn't be a secret. You should be proud of the value and pricing that you have. Um, so they are in the gym. Part of them decided to come in and check you out. So a simple question when that's the objection you're getting to get more information out of them is, okay, you know, I understand your pricing. So here's the pricing. Now, what will having a gym membership improve for you? So you've answered the question and then you're asking them, you know, what will this improve? On the surface, the person want to know the pricing. But you as a fitness professional, you're going to dig a little deeper with this question. So when you ask what this is going to prove for them, it's going to continue the conversation. It's an open-ended question that they can't say yes or no to and turn you down. Um, they're going to give you more information that you can start digging into. A response might be like, well, you know, I just want to be healthier for my kids or I've gained a little bit of weight or I've got a wedding coming up or I've got, you know, a family reunion. Um, I just want to feel better. I've been sick a lot lately. Whatever. It's going to really bring home more questions for you so that you can dig deeper in there. So if you have a pricing thing where it's just like, I just want to know the pricing. Perfect. It's $39.99 or whatever your pricing is. What will having this gym membership improve for you? And that way you can get that answer um, in there and start digging in. Our next example here is a guest comes in to check out your gym, but they're a member of another. So we've all had this where a guest comes in like, yeah, I'm a member of the gym down the street. I just figured like I wanted to check you guys out. And that may be true on, on some level. You know, they've been a member. They love that gym. They just want to see what in the gym looks like. But more than likely, there's something going on that possessed them to come in and check your gym out in person. Again, they could have gone online and looked at pictures. They could have gone to your social media account. Um, you know, all those things. Like, they, they're in there for a reason. They're looking. You know, they want to be you know, dug into a little bit and have something solved for them, but they're not presenting that on the surface. Sometimes people come in and they'll be very honest with you. Like I had this X experience at that gym and I don't want to have it again. So I'm coming here to see if that won't happen. But most of the time they're just going to give you a surface answer of, yeah, I'm a member down the road and I just want to check you guys out. So a good question to ask them are, what are you looking for different than your current gym offers? Now the important, the reason this question is important is because it's going to allow you to close on that because they might say, well, you know, my gym is always crowded when I'm trying to do squats. There's no, no availability. All right, well, let's go check out the squat area. You know, how would that help you to be able to squat whenever you felt like it? You know, and be able to answer that question so you can start solving that problem that the other gym can't solve. And then it gives you the instant ammunition so that way you can close them today and say, look, we, we can solve that problem for you. You can join today. I'm going to get you started. That way you can start using the gym and doing what you actually want to do. You know, people don't want to have a gym membership just to have a gym membership. They want to accomplish things. And they want to, you know, feel better about whatever goals they're working on. So solve that problem. So that's a great question to ask when someone gives you kind of a smoke screen answer of, I'm already a member of someone else. I'm just wanting to check you guys out on a free pass. You know, what do you really want to check out? What, what made you come over here? Um, and our third example here is a guest comes in to check out your gym, but then they say you're too expensive. So, you know, there are certain cases where budget is a legitimate objection, but if we're talking about just a regular gym membership, you know, it's going to be so inexpensive that can't be a real um, objection most of the time. So there's probably something else that um, they're, they're not saying, and we need to get to that. 
Um, but the only way to do that is really to move past this one. So people overspend all the time. If everybody was in their budget and following their budget, then they would that wouldn't even be an objection because they would have the money set aside to have a, a gym membership. So uh, you know, or some kind of money dedicated to their health and wellness. So if someone's telling you it's too expensive, it's not in the budget, that's not true. So go ahead and move past that and just say, okay, well, what happened if we did it anyway? You know, I get it. You know, you're over budget. You know, I'm over budget too, but we got to have our health and wellness. You know, we got to take care of ourselves. So let's go ahead and do this anyway. And so that takes, you know, acknowledges what they said, but it moves forward to where they can't give you that same exact answer. They're going to have to say something more like, well, if I can't do that, if I do that, you know, that's my lunch money. Okay, perfect. Well, let's look at how we can budget your finances for your food, which would probably help you with your health and wellness anyway. That way we can get you started on this gym membership today. And so all these questions are just great at, you know, digging deeper and figuring out what their what and their why is and how you can do that, you know, because if you just don't know those two things, you can't close. If you someone comes in, they want to lose weight, you know, they might be willing to wait a month before they do it. But if you find out someone comes in because they want to lose weight because they um, have a tests coming up for their insurance, and if they're under certain categories, it's going to give them more health insurance for less, then you can dig in and get that answer. Then you can't wait. It's like, okay, we got to do this today. But if you didn't dig deep enough to get that out of them, I mean, this is a person that's already made unhealthy decisions to get out of shape. They'll continue to do it if you allow them. So you have to dig deep and find that what, the weight loss, and the why to meet that health insurance goal or whatever it is. So, you know, really about creating urgency is digging in, finding those two things, if you just rely on promotions, you know, a lot of times like, oh, we don't have any good promotions right now. That's why we're not getting people to join. That's a tough way to, to live, you know, in a, a membership environment, a gym environment is only relying on promotions. Promotions are great and it'll get those people you couldn't get initially, but you shouldn't be price selling in the first place. You know, the, the money should be the last thing that is ever a problem. You know, the problem would be that you legitimately can't solve whatever it is they're trying to do. And when you dig deep and figure out what they want to accomplish, they're going to be happy to do it and price isn't going to matter. So the outline of this video, figure out what they want to do, figure out why they want to do that, and then use that on the reason they joined today. Because when they join today, they're going to solve for what and the why is going to be answered. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. Thank you.